So today we're going to look at how to get um, tag values out of an Allen Bradley PLC and into Status Enterprise or Status Device Cloud. And um, so we have a little project set up here. We have a pump and this pump has a flow rate property and this is what we would like to populate with our live data. And we also have a mimic with an LED display that we would like to uh, bind and, and use to display that flow rate property on that pump. So we're going to start by going to data mapping and we're going to uh, create a new mapping configuration. So I'm going to call this configuration one. And the first thing we do is we pick where our live data is going to come from. So we mentioned Alan Bradley is going to be our provider. So we're going to pick Alan Bradley and we're going to define a new data point in our configuration. Um, so I'm going to call this data point uh, pump flow rate as its name and uh, I have an IP address that I need to type in here so it's uh, 192.168.168.156 so that's where the, uh, the Allen Bradley PLC is located on my network and then I got other settings in here. I can switch between, uh, you know, Ethernet, uh, different uh, models of PLCs, and uh, so I, I'm going to go down. And what I'd like to select is um, actually a timer. It's got some live data updating in it, and um, that PLC when it's installed, um, it's installed on slot two, and uh, you know these other settings we can leave as default. And the last little bit of information that we need is the name of the tag inside the PLC that we want to get the live data from. So I'm going to paste in that address and uh, we're all set. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to save this configuration. And next I'm going to go back to um, my data mapping and click the connect button. And what that's going to do is on the left side is connecting to my model. So here is pump A1 and there's my flow rate. And on the right side is my live data from my Allen Bradley PLC. So there's my pump flow rate. That's the property that I created, right? If I go back into the configuration, there's pump flow rate that I created. So here it is right here. And what I want to do is create a mapping between this pump flow rate and the flow rate on pump A1. And I just select these two properties, one in the left, one in the right, and I right click and I do an add mapping. So now as this value changes in the PLC, it's going to update this value here in my data model. So we're going to save that, we're going to go back to our Mimic Designer, and we're going to bind this property, this flow rate property, to the LED display, and we do that simply by double clicking on the flow rate, so that property is now bound. And I'm going to save the screen, and I'm going to click Run, and now I have live data flowing into that screen from the PLC. So as that timer property is triggering in the PLC, it's coming into the data connector service. The data connector service is taking the value and updating the model using the mapping that we created and updating the flow rate property on our pump. Okay, So that's how we take live tag values out of our um, Allen Bradley devices and how we update the model in either Status Enterprise or Status Device Cloud. Thank you.